Hello my fellow hunters, today I wanna compare between the best possible Narga Kuga switch axe build and the best possible Diablos switch axe build. First of all, it was a very hard grind, it take me a lot of time to calculate all that things, figure out what's the best possible build, the best possible skills, how many skills can I fit in the set, it was very hard because I haven't the weakness exploit two charm and have to use the weakness exploit one charm and actually for the Diablo set I have to craft five attack tools and yes that took me a lot of time so you can help me when giving your some ideas or you can write in the comments when I gonna check the next possible best switch except for a specific weapon but first of all I gonna show you the sets I am um, compare actually I have the Switch X Poison build with the Knight's Crescent and the X Samper Tyrannus 2 Switch X build. And I'm gonna compare these two. So you can see I'm using completely different armor parts except the Spyro Elytra S because I've talked to you about. First of all, i gonna have a so first of all we have a look back to the set skills. On my Switch X crit build we have attack boost level 5 and on the Diablo set we have two levels more. So we have completely maxed out attack boost and yes. Back to the Nagakuga set we are using Razor Sharp to get 40 hits of white sharpness. We have 20 hits of natural white and yes. So we can do a little bit more damage when you using Razor Shop. We also have Weakness Exploit on the both sets, Poison Attack on the Naga Kuga set. It doesn't increase our file damage or other stuff, it only increases or shortens the duration until the monster gets inflicted with a poison status. Critical Boost 2, Latent Power Level 1 can be triggered very easily. Also Power Prolonger Level 1 and Speed Shoveling Level 1. On the Diablo set we have Blood Channel fully maxed out, so we get 10% extra attack boost. Stamina Thief, level 3, gives us 40% more, more um, stamina reduction when, you, when we're attacking the monster. Critical Eye 2, to get 1% affinity, and with a weakness exploit we get 51. Rapid Morph, level 2, is pretty cool on this set. Um, I have read a lot comments in the comment section why I'm not using Rapid Morph. First of all, I think Rapid Morph is over is a over the top skill. That means I only recommend Rapid Morph if you have enough free slots. If all your other skills like attack boost and weakness exploit and crit is maxed out, then you can use Rapid Morph because it's only for a heavily morphing playstyle and I don't morph so much and I also have seen a lot of speedrunners don't use rapid morph. I think it's not so efficient but I gonna later make a video. We also have Mind's Eye which is pretty cool because we have green sharpness. Yes, and that's it. I like the set because we have Stamina Thief and you can see Stamina Thief's Exhaust Power plus 40%. First of all, I'm gonna have to say that it's extremely important to stay as long as you can with the set in the end state. Otherwise, the Narga Kuga set is better. So, I'm gonna show you the Marv. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the special decos, how to craft the decos, how to craft the armor parts and other stuff. So if you have seen my last video, I talked a lot about, I talked half an hour about the best possible set for the Naga Kuga Switch X. And for the Diablos X, the math is not so hard because we doesn't have razor sharp, we doesn't have two different sharpness crates we are using actually. And I gonna compare these two sets actually. The first thing is that we have 12% more file damage 
with the Diablo set. So it's very important, like I mentioned before, stay as long as you can in the empty state and files can't crit. And that's the reason, because Diablos is better. We have maxed out, sorry for that mistake. We have maxed out attack boost on the Diablo set and only attack boost level 5 on the Naga Kuga set. So, if you're using ZSD or other stuff, I personally use the compressed ZSD. So, there is the. There applies no file damage on the compressed ZSD. But if you're using all ZSD, this is gonna be nice. So, you can see it's very obviously that the file damage from the Diablo set is. Diablo X is pretty much better, 12% better. And you can see I also tested the overhead slash, the double slash, and the wide swing. And on all these three moves, and I personally maybe can say that general on every move in sword mode, when your amp state isn't active, the Narga Kuga switch axe is better. You can also here see the dive bomb finisher. It does a lot more damage because it's fixed damage. But here you can see all the minus 4% damage numbers. But now we go to the training area and I want to show you something. We calculated now in the video because I've forgotten this. Like, for instance, we're doing an overhead slash, you can see 33. And now we are doing a double slash, you can see still 33. So you can see it's still the same file damage, and now we do a wild swing. So you can see still 33. So we do now the complete marf for the end state, and yes, see you later in a second. So we're gonna put this number together. Um, first for the overhead slash, okay, this cell, this cell, plus the cell, now for the double slash, it's G9 plus uh, G6, and for the Diablo set, it is Um, I9 plus, sorry, I6. And now for the wild swing, it's G10 plus G6. And we're gonna write here, we're gonna put that to one cell, and we write in end state. Okay, now put it in the middle. And for the last, we are using cell i10 plus the file damage is 33. Sorry, i6 plus i10. Okay, <laughs> I think I've calculated everything, uh, something wrong. Okay, now and I've put in the data, and you can see. This is exactly the same. Um, and on the other two moves you can see an end state. The Diablo set does with the overhead slash only 99.3% from the Nagakuga set. And with the... sorry, one second please. With the double slash only 89%. So in all in all we can say it's minus 1% or two percent. Yes. Okay. We finally can come to the conclusion that this Diablo set is one or two percent less damage than the Nagakuga set. The only benefit that you have when you're using the Diablo set is that your files and your dive bomb finisher 
is pretty much better and I personally say that the Diablos X is I prefer it for the solo mode because you have that 40% stamina achieve that means monster can't move anyway and you also doesn't need to have an eye on your sharpness couch. The next thing is that the Diablo set is more viable. You can also slot in uh, some sluggard jewels or if you got a good sluggard talisman you can use this also as KO set. Yes, but the bad thing from the Diablos build is that sometimes you can bounce. So I personally want to say at the end that the Narga Kuga Switch X build is a tiny little bit better than the Diablos X, but if you want to easily stagger or flinch monster or what else or do abnormal status, Diablos is better. And you also have to mention that the Narga Kuga set can inflict a poison status. And I didn't have mentioned that. Poison status does during all the time damage, also when you're not attacking. So Norga Kuga set is better, I think, personally. Um, sorry, I, got, I forgot one thing to mention. I show you the Diablo Switch X build in the next video because I didn't want to make this video too long. See you next time. I want to add some stuff shortly. There's also a MRI damage calculation webpage, but please don't pay too much attention to the site when using a switch X because damage calculation and switch X is a little bit more complicated. Like I mentioned before with the files, files can't crit and other stuff. You only can use this website to calculate weapon damage uh, overall to give you a short overview but i think for switch x it's not good for the in-depth mod. maybe the site is pretty good if you're using a um, great sword hammer not because you can charge the hammer but for great sword or other easy weapons i think or for dual blades like mentioned here it's very good but i don't recommend it for switch x because of the file types, empty state and all that other stuff. You can see uh, the first stats are from the Diablos Axe with 230 attack, crit minus 9% and on the other set we had the Naga Kuga Axe with 188 attack true raw 40% affinity and white sharpness so you can see Norga Kuga switch X is pretty much better and now we're gonna see what happens if we go into the blue sharpness you can see Norga Kuga is worse than the Diablos Axe. But I calculate, but we are playing with Razor Shop. We got a good time into the white sharpness. And yes, to make it easy, you have seen what I've calculated. But if you wanna know exactly the damage, you have to go to a hunt and count the hits you do to a monster. And then you can say, okay, like I have done, I do 80 hits and after 80 hits, the monster leaves the area. And then you can go to your sharpness bar, uh, remove the hits that you've done from the sharpness bar and you can see how much, how much percentage from white or blue sharpness you're using. But all in all, if you're extremely lazy and don't want to sharp or other stuff, I think best way is to use the Diablos Axe if you don't want to shop, but I think both builds are nearly the same. If you're gonna be very petty, 
Nolga Kuga, switch X build is still the best, and I gonna do compare some other weapons, see you next time.